Hi team, my name is Captain Kier. I'm the Assignment, Separations, and Restrictions Lead here on the IPSA program. Thank you for dialing into Coffee Talk and let's get to it. We need more of these. Parentheses, IPSA replays, close parentheses. So people really like those videos and, and there's a good reason why. It's because they're good videos. They break things down into about four minute blocks where you can learn the things that you need to do in order to do your job in the system. A comment from Reddit. Ipsay has made award writing easier. There is a live chain of custody. Most of the admin data is already filled in and you just have to worry about the bullet slash narrative. Now fix the buddy par so you can submit awards for troops outside your org and we good. Sausage McGriddle, extra hash brown, no creamer. So I paused myself before I answered this. So welcome 21st century. I appreciate your, you joining us. We can absolutely do that now. However, it goes through the service member's current chain of command. So you can submit it for somebody outside your organization, but it'll go through their chain of command because that's the rules. All right, so here's something out of the email inbox. Good afternoon, team. Would you please send me the recording or point me in the right direction for the IPSA Day in the Life webinar series, Assignments 1. So the good news is all of these links will be in the description of this video. Additionally, you can find it on S1Net or on the IPSA help page as well. Comment from Reddit. Prior to IPSA, I was able to slide my pack clerk 100 to not charge the leave. Does anyone know if it is possible to bypass IPSA and do the same? So I just want to start off by saying IPSA is a fully auditable system. That's step one. Step two, that's illegal. And I recommend you don't do that. Thank you for dialing into this episode of Coffee Talk. I encourage you to follow us on social media. Do it.